Welcome back. The Vermont Abenaki Artists Association Master Artist was recently awarded with a Poet Laureate Fellowship Award from the American Academy of Poets. And here to tell us more about that is Joseph Bruchak. Thank you so much and congratulations on your award. Oh, thank you very much for the congratulations. I'm honored. <laughs> so tell us about the award. What does this mean to you? Well, it means a great deal. The Academy of American Poets is the primary organization which deals with causing people to understand the importance of poetry, making it uh, nationally visible, and supporting poets. It's been doing this for many decades, and I've been associated with them in various ways. But having an amazing job like this, having a fellowship to support my work as a, as a, a sort of a, a spokesman for both our people and also for the community of Saratoga Springs is uh, something I never thought would happen. I'm really excited about it. So tell me a bit about your work. What themes do you focus on? Well, my work often focuses on uh, native culture, native history, storytelling. I have been ever since I was a child and did not find books in libraries or information about our people except for things that were very stereotyped. I've been interested in discovering the real roots and then eventually when I had children of my own, writing books for them that were the books I wished I had when I was a kid. And what do you plan to focus on during your fellowship? Well, I have a couple of different things I'll be doing. One is doing writing workshops in the local schools and also connecting them with uh, similar age kids who are in a couple of the different reservations here in New York State. Onondaga Nation and the uh, Akwesasne Mohawk Reservation places where I have often done work and I have many friends and I want people to be aware of the varied and complex history, the Abenaki, the Mohegan and the Haudenosaunee or Iroquois history that is part of our region and is a continuing history, not something that's in the past. So talk a little bit more about that. Why then is it important to teach younger people about indigenous history? Well, for one thing, I think that the values and the understanding that we have of the natural world is something that is very sorely lacking in contemporary life throughout the globe. The fact that we're dealing with huge issues of climate change and making the mistakes of creating disasters for ourselves is something that indigenous cultures were very aware of. The idea that we must be very careful in what we do, that we have to have a balance with the natural world. And our traditional stories often tell of what happens when you do the wrong thing so that you may learn to do the right thing instead. And why is poetry the outlet that you chose? I've loved poetry ever since I was a child. And I think that poetry is one of the most natural languages of human beings. In fact, as I've traveled around the world to many different countries, I found that poetry and poets are honored uh, more so than here in the United States. And I think often in a short poem, you can say as much as someone might say in a very long essay. And do you think poetry is somewhat of a, a kind of a, a misunderstood or overlooked art then? I would say so. People think that poetry is only rhyme pentameter, where in fact poetry is a language that speaks to the heart and the spirit in memorable ways, so that when you hear a poem or read a poem, it may take you to someplace else or cause you to continue to think about it for quite some time. And where can people find your work? Well, I have, of course, uh, many books that have been published. And I would uh, just say, look under my name, and you will find a lot on it. I have over 180 books, some of which are books of poetry, some of which are novels, some of which are nonfiction. And all of them really try to, I think, explain things in a clear and understandable way so that people may both enjoy it and learn from it. Which, by the way, is the message of traditional storytelling, to tell a story that is entertaining, but also a story that is useful and may contain something that will teach you an important lesson. Congratulations again on your award, Joseph. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm very happy to have been on and uh, have a good day. Next, a car crashes into a house. Where and what authorities believe was behind it? And will you be able...